Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nichelle and today I have my uh, November um, monthly subscription haul for you. So I'm not feeling really well and um, I'm sorry my energy is not going to be really high but I wanted to go ahead and get this done and so I could try and put up some videos for this upcoming week. So let's go ahead and get started so before we do we have caress press coco daisy vanilla paper co and glam planner okay let's see what we got going on here for caress press okay so this is giving me an indication that it's going to be like a uh, what is it called here? Let's see. I'm trying to zoom in. So it looks like it's called Glow Up. So it's going to be more like a um, pamper, pampering type kit. I think. <laughs> we'll see. But this says Murder Mystery. So we'll see here. Okay, let's put this to the side. And I'm going to put the full boxes in front because that's kind of what I like okay so I guess I was off because I thought this was going to be November but I could be I think I'm off on some of them but anywho so this is the October mystery and it is called self-love and it's really crazy because this says self-love and then this says murder mystery so I have no idea I don't know if this was an accidental thing. I don't know, but that's what it was called. And then this call, this is called Glow Up, but it does match with this. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is a really nice, you know, self-care type kit. Um, it's okay. It's it's cute. I, pr I will definitely use it. Um, I don't know what I was watching, but I was thinking about doing like a in January instead of like all winter kits in January I was thinking about having like a do doing a week where it's like a reset for myself for the year um so this may be the kit that I use so it's really really cute <clears throat> okay so here you have the full boxes and then this is, by the way, the full kit. I always get the full kit in my mystery. And you have some fun deco, uh, some square boxes, checklist, and flags and weekend banner. And then you have your solid array of boxes and then sidebar headers. And then you have your pattern array of boxes. And then down here is strips of bottom washi. And then you have more boxes and then your glitter headers are built in. I really do love these colors. And then you have like a functional page. And then you have your headers and littles. And then you have an extra box here. And then your bottom washi. The bottom washi is really pretty. I do miss when um, shops have, when they don't give you like two sets of different types of bottom washi um, which is fine I can always just like cut this in half if I didn't want to use all of it or use some washi on top and then these are the fashion girl extra boxes which is really nice you get a, a variety of different ones and not just you know the same so I can mix and match I can even cut this in half and make this another box or I can use this in my sidebar but you just have a array a array of extra boxes there so because here's let me see so um, where's it at oh so there's that one so I can you know even use that one I can use that one this one this one so just a array a, I can't talk I'm sorry a array of um, boxes so super cute and let's go ahead and then you have the uh, bottom washi the 15 millimeter I can't even say it 15 millimeter washi with extra box I think this was an oops to be honest because this is called murder mystery 
and then this is the self love um, but I could probably use this in here if I wanted to I don't know but it was in here so that is the two that's the extra bottom washi and then here is the foil bundle now with caress press I am not sure if you get the foil bundle with all of her mystery kits whether with the, whether it depends on you know whether you have a particular size or not I know with like scroll prints co you only get the foil bundle if you are subscribed to the ultimate kit but here is the full here's the first page where you have like the overlays which is really really cute I really do like this um, so this is definitely going to be more for this right here unless I see something else that I could use this with and then it's the second page you have the different two different styles of bottom washi and then you have a nice set of um, overlays uh, what are these called glitter header overlays and then you have a couple over here this is my favorite page in her foil bundle I love that you get a full set of the work scripts a nice set of scripts icons and then these little round little and reinforcers I don't use those in my a5 planner um, date dots and then I guess these are the bougie boxes I think I've used them maybe once or twice so I, I don't throw them away because I do use them in case I decide I want to pull them out. So that is the October subscription from Caress Press. Next we have Glam Planner. Okay. So I did get a sneak peek of this. She's right now is going on. She, right now she has her glitch sale going on, and she had this out um, as part of the glitch sale. And I'm already not a fan. Um, this is not my cup of tea, and I'm gonna kind of explain why in just a second. So I am gonna try and sell this. But we are going to go through it. So this artwork gives me a juvenile for a, a juvenile artwork. That's kind of the vibe that I get with some of Glam Planner's kits. Um, and I'm I'm just I'm definitely not a fan of this at all. Um, yeah, not a fan. But we're going to go ahead and go through it anyway. So here you have the full boxes. And then the full heart check boxes, additional full boxes here, boxes and labels, glitter headers, heart checklist boxes, functional page, washi strips, more lab more labels, sidebar headers, littles blank labels where you can put like a clear icon on which I do like and then you have your round icons and boxes bottom washi date covers and then you have the oh so here okay so then this was the extra full boxes definitely not a fan of these fashion girls they look a little creepy um, so you got two different sets which is nice I'm not gonna lie that is really really nice and really really generous um, but again, this is just not my vibe. And then you have a set of overlays, foil overlays. And then you have the double box here. And then the extra labels and the glitter headers. So as I said, this is not my fave. I'm not... I don't plan on keeping it um, so I am definitely going to get on to her buy sell trade group and see if anyone um, wants this so it may be kind of hard to buy it uh, sell it now because it was in her glitch sale but I will sell it for what the cost of the um, 
which includes the shipping. I will sell this for what it costs me. So, yes, that is the Glam Planner October Mystery. And then you have Vanilla Paper Co. I just want to make sure I'm not cutting the Okay, I have no strength whatsoever. So again, I hope I'm not cutting the kit. I did not. Okay. All right. I guess I was in. The, I guess I am in October. So I don't know why. I think I put October. I don't know what I did for my subscription haul or my channel. But anyway, this is October. I forget that. Um, Coco Daisy is always a month ahead. So in November, I'll have my December um, stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and get to it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so out of it. I probably shouldn't even done this video, but. It is what it is. Oh, I always do that. See, it's already coming up. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is cut this. Uh, well, no, because I'm going to put it up, so it's fine. Okay. This is really cute. This is will definitely go into for next year. So here are the full boxes, and then you have like some um, strips of washi at the bottom. And I think I'm about to lose my battery. And then you have, um, or I need to delete. So here is the second page. And this was from the reformat that I showed from last time. And then the ombres. And do you have additional boxes down here or washi pieces down here? And then more boxes and layering pieces. And then you have your headers and littles. I hope she doesn't really get rid of this page because I love the. Um, I let you guys know I love my to-do headers. I don't necessarily have to have these anymore, but I do love these. And then you have the bottom washi with an extra box, which is really cute. Love that. And then here is some extras. This is a it just says thank you for your purchase. So this is an overlay box. I think this is an overlay box. Well, it's kind of not coming up, right? But an overlay box here. And then she always gives like some kind of foil and gives it to you in all four co colors. So this is like some really nice bow uh, overlay boxes here. And you get them in gold, rose gold, silver, and hollow. And then we have the uh, extra headers here. And then the functional, the, the, icons and headers here and this right here she doesn't she doesn't give any more in her um in her regular kits i don't think so that is my order from vanilla paper co and I'm, I'm pleased with it so this will definitely be put in for um next year i can even use that like in september going into october so really really pretty Okay, last but not least, I have my Coco Daisy order. Um, nothing new. Um, I'm going to show the um, monthly because I already took out my monthly and put it in my planner. Because I'm not, this is what I'm using now. 
So let me just get to it. So let me just quickly show you the layout for the personal. It's not much different than the A5, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. I'm not going to read this because I really am uh, winded right now. Okay, so here is the back page. She always gives you a divider. And then you have an overview. This is really pretty. These colors are actually really gorgeous. And then you have like your uh, horizontal, like weekly at a, I'm going to call it a weekly at a glance. So you get four pages of those. And then on the back, you get the grid. And then you go into the weekly. And I might have taken them out already, guys. I just realized it. Then you get into your horizontal weekly. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to use those. So you get enough for every day or each week. And then here's the overview for the month where you can kind of write down your goals or your to-dos, whatever you want to, uh, however you want to use them. And then you go into your monthly. It's already decorated. So if I want, I could just add like some washi. For my personal, because it's so small, I don't do a whole lot in here. I just maybe just put my bills and any upcoming events and things like that. That's pretty much what I use for this. And then you go into the daily. And here it's a lot different than the A5. So you could just break it down however you want. And then you have the grid on the back and you have enough for every single day. So that is the personal. Okay, so here is the A5 version of what I just showed you for the personal size. So there's really no difference um, with the pages. Of course, this is just on a wider scale. The only difference is I'm just going to flip through this right here so you can see. Like I said, I have the monthly in my planner already. And then this is the A5, the I'm sorry, the horizontal weekly. I even thought about um, just using this one week and see how I like it. Um, but the only thing is I just can't use any kits. I would have to just pull in like these colors and that just may be a little bit difficult, but I think I can actually just pull it off one week and I may just do that. Um, so I'm not gonna flip through every single page because they are the same. So here you have graph and then you have dot grid on this side. And Coco Daisy has a variety of different sizes. Um, she also has like a scrapbooking one where it comes with paper and embellishments and all of that. If you want to set up your planner every single month, I don't have time to do that. And that's, I, it, it would go to waste for me. I really like the inserts. So that's what I use. So then this is the daily. So the difference, as you can see, because this is on a much larger scale. So this kind of, I think this box tends to change out the, um, the text up here tends to change out, it looks like, every single month. So I'm just going to pull out a daily here so you can see what I'm talking about. So all of so here you're just losing this section over here. Um, for me, typically how I use this is I don't use this on a daily basis. I use this more on a weekly basis. So I always have extras left over. Um, I work full-time during the day, so this would on a daily basis it really wouldn't suffice I mean I could try it and see but I don't know I may give it a, I may give it a go for a week and see what happens I don't know uh, it won't be this week though but typically how I use this is I this is like my must do's section right here like the top four things that I want to get done and then over here I use this for my um, Instagram as far as like making sure I post daily and then down here I kind of just write down and this is on the business side so I write down everything that I want to get done for that week down here I haven't figured out what I can use this for if there's anything really important that I want to make sure is done I make even though it's up here I'll put it down here because it's it's big and it's in my face And then on the back, 
I typically use the back for, and again, this is the same, so there's no difference here. So I'm gonna put this one away. So on the back, I typically use this for my um, personal, like what I need to get done for the house and any errands and things like that. So that's kind of how I use the daily right now. So that is my October subscription. I think I did my header wrong for last month because I think I have October subscription and it really should have been September subscription. So I apologize there. So like I said, Coco Daisy is always a month in advance. You get this well in advance. Um, I've had this for a few weeks now and which I love. So that way if you want to start pre-planning or whatever you want to do with it, you can. And um, and now when you do her subscription, you have to subscribe to, you, you have a three month commitment that you do have to do and then after that if you feel that you don't want to keep it anymore then you can go ahead and um, unsubscribe but you do have to do the three month commitment so thank you guys again so much again I apologize for the low energy um, I thought I was you know up to it and I'm, I'm still trying to decide on whether or not I want to do my monthly but not my monthly my weekly plan with me for the first week of November so thank you guys again so much for watching I hope you did enjoy it um, I will have these shops down below if you want to check their subscriptions out and I will see you in my next video bye